We're basically saying the Prophet didn't give us the guidance. Prophet Muhammad said, the Prophet said, when the Prophet said that, you call on Rasulullah Prophet said, the point is that Rasulullah is dead. The Prophet سوف يبين ذلك لكن أنا سوف سوف أبين ذلك في خلال ثواني هناك حديث مشتهر جدا عند الشيعة حتى أبين أنهم يصححون ويضعفون بهواهم وبحسب ما يلائم المذهب ما في أشهر من حديث لا تصلوا عليه الصلاة البتراء هل تعلم أنه لا يوجد له سند لا عندنا ولا عندهم بغير سند صححوه بدون سند وأنا منذ حوالي خمس سنوات تحديتهم أن يأتوا أن يأتوا بسند هذا الحديث ولم يفعلوا فنحن ننتظر إن شاء الله يوم من الأيام أن الحيدري يأتينا بالسند ولن أقول تحدي لكن الرسالة قد وصلت إيتونا بسند حديث لا تصلوا علي الصلاة البتراء لأن هذه الرواية رواية بتراء حتى تأتوا بالسند طيب نقبل نقبل as for the Sahih narration they always quote, from Sahih al-Bakari etc, then know that this is the Ibrahimic prayer, Salah al-Ibrahimiya, which is part of the daily prayer, and which the Prophet peace be upon him taught his noble Sahaba. It is not obligatory to say it, outside the prayer, after mentioning the Prophet alayhi salam, for it is a long prayer, meant as a pillar for the daily prayers. The Ibrahimic prayer which is part of the Salah, is narrated in many books, the Shia or Fida, in their deception, mostly quote one version of the narration only, despite the basic principle of Yom al-Hadith of gathering all narrations of a subject together, and not picking what the Nafs and Hawa, of the Rafida, desires. This is being said we find in the version of Sunandar al-Kutni and Imam Ahmad, that the Sahabi asked, We know how to send our salutations and peace upon on you, i.e. saying Salallahu alayhi wa salam, but how should we do this during the prayer? And obviously no one is reciting this long prayer, whenever the Prophet is mentioned, neither Sunnah or Ofida. But, the people of Sunnah are indeed the people of the Sunnah, for they stick to the order of the Prophet peace be upon him, and recite the Abrahamic prayer in their daily prayers. Whereas the Ofida don't recite it at all. Let us take a look at the Tashahud of the Sunnah and the Ofida. Allahu Akbar التحيات لله والصلاوات والطيبات السلام عليك أيها النبي ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالحين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد الله أكبر الحمد لله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد The Sadaili prayers are in fact invalid their prayer is what is known as Salar al-Batra, incomplete prayer on the Prophet, due to the fact that in the Rafida daily prayer, there is no Ibrahimic prayer at all. Conclusion 
The narrations they use are either chainless, of the weakest, narrations or sahih ones, but with devilish deception. By taking the narration out of context, as the sahih one, where the Prophet peace be upon him taught the long Ibrahimic prayer to his Sahaba, which is only to be used as a wajib in the daily prayers. Therefore you find in the very same son of the Rafida, pick and chose many narrations, where the Prophet peace be upon him, taught the very same Sahaba certain supplications, without mentioning the Ibrahimic prayer, which includes his Isle, family and Ibrahim and his Isle. As you can see, the attack on the Sunnah, by accusing the people of the Sunnah of sending incomplete prayers on the Prophet peace be upon him, is in fact a shoot in their own feet. Because of the following Sahih facts, there is no such a thing as Salar al batra incomplete prayer upon the Prophet narration. This is a fabricated chainless narration, and the lie ascribed to the Prophet peace be upon him, and only the Rafida, due to their nafs and hawa keep lying about the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him. And as every Muslim knows, it has been authentically narrated that whoever lies upon him deliberately will have a seat in the fire. So congratulation to the Rafida priests who spread a fabricated chainless narration to serve their agenda. Their jahil, ignorance, is unlimited. After all they are all wafi, and they keep repeating and repeating a lie, a chainless narration, true to the motto. If you repeat a lie long enough, it becomes truth. Like this kafir devil who can only deceive a bunch of blood fetishists. رغم أنه وردت عندهم بعض الروايات فيها أنه لا تصل علي الصلاة البتراء قيل وما الصلاة البتراء يا رسول الله قال أن تقول اللهم صل على محمد وتسكت يعني فقط تقتصر على الصلاة على محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وتسكت فقالوا كيف نصلي قال قولوا اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد and they keep shedding crocodile tears and repeating this fabricated narration on air. لا بد من ذكر الآل لحديث الرسول المروي عن ابن عباس قال صلى الله عليه وآله لا تصل علي الصلاة البتراء الله عليه وسلم بحسب نص الكتاب وإلا لا تصل علي الصلاة البتراء ما ساكين رو وافي they don't know what's being hidden from them. They are fed with lies, lies and lies, adding salutations upon his family and his companions, and all believe this is a good deed, but not an obligatory one. Hence we find what the Rafida don't like to show in their videos. <laughs> صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم نظر في قلوب العباد بعد قلب محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم فوقت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم فقال النبي صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وكان صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم من تعليم رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم قال رسول الله قال رسول الله صلى عليه صلى الله عليه وآله وصحبه وسلم أما من السنة فقال النبي صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم Saying Allahumma salli ala Muhammad or Salla Allah walayhi wa sallam is absolutely fine and according to the sunnah as the Prophet taught in many supplications it is not an incomplete prayer incomplete is the prayer of the Rafida for they don't even recite a complete Abrahamic prayer in their daily prayers and last but not least of course the most incomplete and empty thing ever is the skull of a Rafidi Madhu see priest, the true enemies and claimants of our albate. May Allah guide the innocent, truth-seeking among the Shia, Amin. The Messenger of Allah Ta'ala, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, his family, his companions, and every single one who follow their footsteps to the last day.